Um, I'm Jason McCoy with Red Pass Training Solutions. Um, I'm going to be teaching the class today. First thing I want to do is thank Ryan for hosting us and also the gentleman that owns the property for having us out. Okay. So again, with our seven fundamentals, all right, first one being stance. The stance that I'm looking for is shoulder width apart, feet shoulder width apart, one foot slightly in front of the other, down into the knees, bent at the waist slightly, and then we're looking for an isosceles triangle up here with the arms. Okay. Our grip is a camming or a, a, a thumbs high grip. So support or our strong hand is going to be as high up in the tang of the gun as we can get it. The tang being this section right here. Okay, we're going to sandwich that meat out around the top of that gun and get it as high as we possibly can. Our front to back pressure is coming from here. We're going to marry this hand up. So this little bony spot sits right in that hollow and we're covering up the entirety of that frame. We're wrapping this finger around here, taking up that little spot. So now I have 360 degree control over that gun. Okay. What I have to do typically with a striker fired gun is bring this thumb over, dig it into the back of this knuckle here, if everybody can see that. And what that does is it keeps me from occluding that slide stop and the slide will still lock back on an empty magazine. Okay. If we get it too far over, we hold that thing down and the gun's not gonna function properly. Okay. We don't have to worry about having our thumbs in contact with the slide. As long as you're not super over gripping it, it's not gonna affect it at all. Okay. Our side to side grip pressure comes from this hand. So front to back here, side to side here. Okay. With this hand, we can squeeze as hard as we want until we start to lose dexterity in this finger. Okay. The only part of this finger that should be involved in that trigger control movement is that right there, okay? Not this knuckle. When we start to get this knuckle involved, we start dragging the gun off target, okay? <clears throat> 360 degree control, and we can squeeze as hard as we want to squeeze with this hand. That's gonna give us more control over the gun. Again, the goal being for that slide to reciprocate back and forth, minimal amount of muzzle rise, okay? Side alignment, sight picture. Again, something we talked about yesterday, remember, that you want to you want to select the quality of sight picture or get the quality of sight picture that you want for the target that you're engaging. Okay, so if I'm shooting a man-sized target from three to five yards, I might just need to come out, get a rough visual on the back of the gun, meet over metal, rough alignment of the sights, and I can work that trigger a little bit more aggressively and still get my hits up here in high center mass. Okay, if I'm at a more distant target, I need to have a more refined, clear, classic sight picture that's gonna look more like this and then superimpose it over the target, okay? <clears throat> Again, just a quick refresher on trigger control. <clears throat> Safe and clear. Clear. Safe and clear. Clear. Okay, so quick refresher on trigger control. Can you move over? Most of our striker fired guns, okay, we got a whole lot of slop right here that's mechanically built into the gun. We're gonna take that out, come to the wall, squeeze through, so press. Okay, when, we've, when we're trying to get that classic precise uh, sight picture and we're taking a more precise shot, we want that gun to surprise us a little bit when it goes off. Okay, gun's gonna reciprocate. We're gonna let that trigger back out to reset, okay? That's the only part of the, man the trigger we're gonna manage in subsequent shots. Blah, I can't talk. It's the only part of the trigger we are going to manage in subsequent shots, okay? So we're not coming all the way off the trigger and then slapping it again and taking all that slot back out. We're only managing the reset itself. And that remains true no matter how fast we're shooting, okay? Um, anybody other than you two guys running a uh, double action or a double action single action gun? All right, cool. We talked about your trigger control yesterday, so <clears throat> I won't beat that horse again today. Breathing, again with the handgun, we're going to breathe naturally, we're going to breathe normally. Now today what you will find, and we'll talk a little bit more about it when we start shooting prone, um, when you're in contact with the ground, you have to pay a little bit more attention to breathing, but we'll talk about that when we get there. All right, so that's, a, that's the real quick down and dirty refresher on fundamentals. Anybody have any questions about any of that stuff?